Um, I guess we'll call this meeting to order. Can I ask Jackie to say the prayer? And would you like to say the pledge? Sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Father, we thank you for all your many blessings you have bestowed upon us. Father, we ask that we make good decisions that will benefit our town. These and other blessings, Father, we ask in thy darling son Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. Um, do we want to amend the agenda? Someone approval of the agenda? Yeah, I'll make a motion. We uh, suspend the rules. Suspend and make the rules. Number seven. Make number seven uh, before number five. There you go. Okay. So I got second. I'll second. I'll vote. Uh, no. Yeah. Okay, uh, has everyone read the minutes? Approval, correction of the minutes? Everyone okay with the minutes? Yeah, I make a motion we approve the, the minutes from the May okay. 9th meeting. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. I think we skipped the approval of the agenda. No, we well. We amended. We amended the agenda. Amended. I'll, I'll make a motion. We approve the amended agenda. Okay. I'll second. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. So new business, right? New yeah. business. New business. So we're, you're, okay. We have a board without a chairman because the chairman resigned, um, and and we've replaced with uh, we have two in, new uh, board members. So amongst yourselves, somebody would need to nominate somebody to be a chairman and um, go from there. I would like to nominate Lisa Poe. Okay. I'll second. All in favor. All in favor. Aye. Aye. <laughs> and so what that means is now we need to have okay, a, now vice we need a vice chair. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, anyone would like to nominate someone as a vice chair? I'll nominate Pam Johnson, the <laughs> vice chair. Okay. Do you have a second? I'll second it. All in favor? Uh, Aye. Okay. Yep. We're good then. So now we have a vice chair. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Quick question. Could she still serve if she gets elected on this board? Or would it have to be, would we have to get somebody different at that point in time? Or is that just... Those are kind of things, things that we've been looking at in general. Um, to, de to determine that because you know it specifically has to have two one on the planning and right. on the bza and then um this one does not require a commissioner right on it, yeah, but the, yeah, the planning does, but um, does right. so those are to be determined gotcha. okay okay it may be short yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it might be, might be short the shortest term is vice vice chair ever <laughs> 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 Oh, uh, I'm going to let you go ahead, Rodney, and start us with the variance request. Um, on the agenda tonight, we have a variance request, BZA 2022-C-066. Uh, applicant Sean Castillo is requesting a variance request for property located at 6556 Polk Lane. Property is further identified on the tax map 126 parcel 009.10 and legally recorded at the Murray County Register of Deeds Office. Purpose for this request is to build a metal garage on the rear of the property. The section he was asking the variance request from is section 10.8 A and B uh, paragraphs, uh, which excludes any metal buildings or structures in any residential zones. Uh, so he is making the request to build a metal building there instead of a uh, brick or vinyl siding. That includes the size limitation status yes. in 10.8. 10, 10 right. Yeah. 
Is it going to be similar color to the house? Yes. Uh, I, I there is there. I um, a color palette okay. in there. It's a gray and a lightish tan. And that's similar um, to the resident? That is similar to the resident. The resident is, is uh, white. Do you have any concerns about it? No, sir. Their property is five point something acres. Uh, he's going to put it about 100 feet foot behind the house, which still leaves, I think it's about 70 feet to the rear of the property line um and the side setbacks are are well within in range so make a motion that we approve variance request bza 2022-c-066 in regards to section 10.8 a and b that we give a variance for that i'll add a second second Roll we'll vote. All in favor? Aye. Uh -huh. You want to post? It passes. Yep. I have nothing. Up next is item B, uh, variance request BZA 2022-C-070. Applicant author steward is requesting a variance for the property located at 6790 Polk Lane. Property is further identified on the tax map 126 parcel. 047.00 and legally recorded at the Murray County Register of Deeds Office. The purpose of this request is to build a metal garage in the rear of the property. Same as the uh, first applicant, he is building a metal garage, a uh, metal building, uh, and to match his house, it's a brick house. Uh, I think it's the last one before you get out into the county in our city limits. Uh, so it's five plus acres of everything. So he's, he's a, getting a variance request for section 10.8 A and B on the metal structure and the sizes of everything. And it's within setbacks. It's all, within right? the setbacks, yes, sir. And this is the only structure this, other than the this house? Is, this is the only structure other yeah. than the house. I'll make a motion. We approve, approve variance request BZA-2022-C-070 in regards to section 10A and 10B of the code. Do I have a second? A second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. Uh, see the various requests BZA 2022 C 071. Applicant Agnes, Agnes Nichols is requesting a variance for property located at 1468 North Main Street. Property is further identified on the tax map 126, parcel 041.04, and legally reported at the Murray County Register Deeds Office. The purpose of this request is to add another structure to the property for a total of three accessory structures, which outlined in our zoning ordinance, section 10.6, paragraph A, any residential zones, you can only have two accessory structures on there, plus the square footage maximum. Um, this is a 100 plus year old cabin from what she had told me that her place that her husband was born in Noticeville. Uh, it is a historic site in Noticeville that they're, I guess they're developing. So they're having to move this structure uh, down here. Uh, and she has how many acres? She has 100 and I think it's 113 uh -huh. acres Very big, total yeah. out there in that area, you know. Uh, so the house sits way back off the road uh, past the tile plant on the right with the metal, blue metal roof. So give you an idea where that's at. And it will comply with 10.6B, you think? That's yeah. what I talked to you about yes. before we came in yeah. here. About, I, I uh, think she said it, was, it wasn't very, it was like a 10 by 10 or something okay. like that. So it's oh. not a what, very, what are the other structures on the property now? Uh, she, bar, has, barns? she has a barn and then she has like a hay shed type, okay. type deal that's in the so, back. So like uh, an enclosed, like a lean-to? Uh, like yeah, kind of yeah, like a lean-to type deal. Right. So, uh, so uh, which I think, you know, when she bought the property, they was all are there. So that is... That's Are they next it. to one another? No, ma'am. They're they're kind of phased out. Yeah, yeah. So they're within the variances of how close they yeah. could be to each other. Yeah. We're gonna make sure that this is, yeah, within the parameters of how close. Do they have they a picture of where they want to put it, put the house? Uh, the they do. He emailed us. I that. emailed everybody that. I did not print it out. It was, I've, I've got, got it. But I've got it. Pull it got up. And I can pull it up. Uh, right. Yeah. Uh, 
And you said you had 100 acres? Um, yes, ma'am. She has 100 and I think it's 13 or 17 to be exact. It's, it's a very big property. Uh, Are they running a farm on it now? No, sir. It's an elderly couple. I think she rents. She might rent it out for farming. Uh, I, I know there's some, some some variances that they wouldn't even have to come in here if it was still being around. The the so, um, right. The biggest, the biggest, the, the biggest thing was me yeah. with me was the, was the three structures, and we just want to make sure of everything. And with it, not I don't know if it's a true working farm or, you know, so. I think she has somebody cut hay. Yeah. And then, and there, there's some exemptions for that, right? For building barns on, yes. on things uh -huh. that are actively being being a, uh, a farm. She can get the green belt for the back part of her property. I thought yeah. there's some zoning stuff too, though, right? If it's, I don't think the they're doing that, though. Okay. Yeah. Right. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. This is the property here. Well, this is kind of an open air hay shed type deal, and this is more of a barn. The the the, the little building is going to be right here. So this is her living room area. She wants to look out the door to see that oh. that, that structure. Uh, and like I say, they own. This it's way behind. They yeah. on this piece here and all the way back. So. Mm -hmm. Hundred thirty-seven all the way. That's that's their whole property that they own. That line in blue. Is there anything in, in location to where the house is? I mean, is it supposed to be at the rear? Can it just be no closer than the front of the house? It, it cannot be that? in the front of the house. Cannot be in front of the house. So. You can, you can have it in front of the house, and that they're going to comply with that. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. Like I said, I, we, I went to talk to her about that because the moving company called me about it. And, uh, well, I personally met her at their own site, and yeah, she started crying on me. So it's like, well. Yeah. And somebody with that bigger property ought to be able to. Yeah, put away. Put away yeah, yeah. Kind of, for that reason. Mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, I'll, I'll make a motion that we approve variance request BZA 2022-C-071 in regards to tech, uh, section 10.6A for the number of structures on the property. Okay. I second. Okay. All right, we have a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Motion passes. Yeah. Okay, we don't have any old business. There is none, Madam Chair. Now we do the new business, staff comments. I just have one thing I want us to think about. I'm going to bring it up at the Planning Commission, too. Um, there's a part of me that is a little uncomfortable when the owner makes a request but is not present because we're speaking for that owner and I don't, I'm not comfortable with that. Um, I feel like if the owner is making a request, they need, because Rodney's not representing the owner. Um, mm -hmm. And I, I, I feel like we just need to say if you're going to make or you're paying to be on the agenda. As I would 100 percent agree with that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, these think, are these are pretty straightforward, uh, but there's a lot of them yeah, that are. Yeah. There's been times when things weren't in the minutes, and Rodney and I will talk to each other. And I'm like, well, that's what they told us, yeah. but they weren't here. Right. And so, and it didn't get in the minutes. And I just feel like. Uh, for all of our sake, maybe that should be something that, you know, we'll put you on the agenda. You need to be present. Might be five minutes, agree. but you just yeah. need to be here for everybody's sake. Um, and it's just come up a couple of times and I'm thinking that we might want to for planning commission too. That's the thought. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Will we require it or just request it? I think because, you know, if you have a question and they're not here, yeah. we defer it defer. and we move on because they're not here to answer questions. We can tell them that if they're right. not here, then. Yeah. It will be hard. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I, mean, I, think, I think we still have to hear it, but we don't have to. We don't right. You don't have to vote on it. We don't have to vote on it. Yeah. You weren't here. We had some questions. Um, it's just, and you don't have to vote on this necessarily tonight. I just want to throw that out right. there. And we're getting uh, bigger and better, and there's going to be more type things like this. And I feel like if, if it's, it's important enough to pay to be on the agenda, you probably need to be present. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, guess it. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm surprised they wouldn't. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we can, can we do, do you want to start? 
I'll, I'll be more than happy to, to. You know, okay. I'll be more than happy to address to them that they need to be here. Yeah. It would be important. But I mean, yeah. the more drawings we have, the more sections that are referenced, makes it easier on us. Yeah, the exactly. And, and with them here, it would make it easier. Mm -hmm. But. Uh, and the use of what they're wanting the building for. Oh, right. mm -hmm. And it's not coming from Rodney, it's coming from yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. from them. Right. Yeah. Because that way you can go back on them and say, well, mm -hmm. no, no. Use it. And yeah. then. You're just going to use this in a garage. Now you got a business going on. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Because they could come up and say, well, Rodney must have been mixed, mixed up. up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. I told you. Mm -hmm. I wasn't crying. <laughs> That's right. If, if, if we got the sections in here, the only, only thing we're giving my parents for is what is in those yep. sections. Exactly. And that was so. another point, Mr. John, uh, talked to me about earlier. Uh, I'm going to do a better job of putting the sections of the codes that they're asking for the variances for. Uh, that way, I will make sure everyone has a zoning ordinance book. Uh, it is online, too, uh, and try to have the most up-to-date of everything on there too. But that way we know exactly yep. what they're asking for. It's not just a metal building. It's a metal building that's oversized. It's going to be located in this certain area. That's why the drawings are important also. Right. And then that's that's all in the record. That's all. This is what you wanted. Then maybe you don't have to show up, you know, but that's, it makes it hard. Uh, to me, yeah. if you're interested in you, you should be what here. you want, uh -huh. you, you all have to be yeah. here. Right. Yeah. <laughs> But is it possible to get this like a week out since we know, or is it that too soon? A week out from, I mean, like before the meet, because I think we got this on Thursday night. Well, I got mine like oh, not on Thursday night. No, I uh, sent out the agenda. We got it. We, I got yeah, mine on Wednesday because I called you Thursday because yeah, yeah. I had a couple of questions yeah. Thursday just to cause cause I was about the drawings. Yeah. yeah, we was just finalizing everything. Yeah, I would, I would try to do that a week. Uh, yeah, and again, I'm new. So. Right. <laughs> for, for this one, if they've got their if they've got their ducks in a row, we should be able to get this in pretty soon after we schedule yes. the meeting yeah. because yeah. we actually schedule this meeting. The scheduling the meeting is uh -huh. the hardest part. Right, right, yeah. right. Uh -huh. So, because the the hardest part is getting it in the paper. Because if you go past Wednesday, you got to right. wait till the next uh -huh. Monday before you start mm -hmm. putting anything in the papers. But you, uh -huh. we could conceivably have this yes. two weeks before the meeting because yes. we're always going to schedule like a month out. Right, mm -hmm. right. I usually try to do right. you know. 15 to 20 plus days out, you know, 20 plus is better than. We may not have another one of these this year. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? Yeah. So, yes, I will make sure we get it out a couple weeks in advance. That way, everybody's studying everything. So, it should be it. Yeah. yeah. And for the new ones on here, we, we do get a lot of metal building requests. Well, so, there's a lot yeah, of those. Yeah. And once, once you see one, they're all pretty much the same, except for. You know, the lot size and, and the building size. I will have the two new ones and anybody else that wants a zoning ordinance book uh, done tomorrow. So. I just be a brief you, quiz. But I don't know yeah. that it's up to date. Yeah, right. that's, yeah, I don't know that mine is the newest. Okay. Yeah. I'll get you. I'm stuck on my way home Look tomorrow. It. Yeah. <laughs> and if you get in the mine, it's available yeah. online. Yeah, it's online. Well, yeah. I think mine's fairly new because I've gotten mine recently. And I can print mine for more. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Well, it was strike that from the yeah. Yeah. strike that from the minute. <laughs> no worries. Uh but yeah. Uh it, that's all. <laughs> I'll make a motion we adjourn. There you go. Second. Second. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you. Meeting adjourned. I've never seen anybody be opposed to adjourning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.